This is the best play in Madden 23. See ya. Every route gets open and no defense can stop it. In today's video, I'm going to use this overpowered pass play the entire game just to see what happens. So if you want to see what unstoppable pass play I'm using to put up points and yards like this, oh my God. stick around after the intro. The here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm once again using my New Orleans Saints offense and multi-deep defensive ebooks, although I'm only going to use one unstoppable pass play the entire game. But if you guys want more hard to stop offenses like this, my ebooks are loaded with them. I will have links in the description and the top pinned comment for all my ebooks. Just click the link to download instantly to your phone or laptop. Other than that, the play I'm going to be using today is from the Empty Y Saint, also known as the Eagle Age slot if you were in custom playbooks. And the play is called the Saints Fork. This play was actually part of the first offensive video that I put out in Madden 23 with another explosive pass play. So if you guys want to see more plays from this offense or more plays about this play in particular, I will have a link in the description for that video as well, as well as a on-screen pop-up which will happen at the end of the video for that particular play. If you saw that video and you're using this play like me, today I'm going to show you multiple new setups that get every route on this play open and make this play virtually unstoppable against any defense. To make this offense work though, you really need to be good at reading a defense and making adjustments as well, as every route beats a different defense. So if you need help reading a defense, I also made a video on that, I'll have a link in the description for that as well. On this first play, he moves the blitzing cornerback in towards the line. So I plan to throw the ball immediately to the Y route. So I fade the X route to get him open. But when I hike the ball and hit the button to throw it, nothing happens. What? Since the pass lead function is the same left stick that moves the quarterback, instead of throwing a quick throw outside, I sidestep into a sack fumble. So on the very first play, my opponent is gifted a very easy touchdown simply because the button didn't respond to throw the ball. Oh, on the next play, he makes the exact same adjustment, and this time it lets me throw the ball and I get the completion that I was expecting on the first play. Was that so hard? Thank you! That route might be the best route on this play now because it really beats any defense man or zone as you will see throughout this gameplay. And it's a route that I did go over in the original video. On the next play though, since it's second and inches, I take the tight end in the flat, which is probably your best check down. Typically, it'll get wide open in the flats against any zone coverage. If you pass lead up and rack catch, you can get a good catch and run against any zone defense in the game. On the next play, I see he switches over to the Meta Man Zero Spinner Blitz. So I'm going to have to throw one of my best man beating routes at him. The Y route here can be used for what is known as the aggressive catch glitch, where it can beat any coverage as long as you bullet and pass lead away from the DB once he flips his hips. Got he. You can see it's completely out of position since he has no safety help and we are gone. It's pretty. It's so pretty. It's kind of a glitch, but if you're going to spam Man Zero Blitzing me all game, I don't feel bad for you. F you! On the defensive side, I'm Man Zero Blitzing as well, because I know it's hard for some people to beat. This is not one of those people though, as he starts off by zigging me to death, which is one of my favorite counters as well. So I know I'm playing a good player. Inside the red zone though, I switched it up to my new Man 1 Blitz that I also put out in a previous video. I have a link in the description for that as well. Gotcha, bitch! And we get an interception stopping the drive. Back on offense, he is still man blitzing, so I'm going right back to that route. It's not the only route that beats man, but it does do it the fastest, and considering he is sending more blitzers than I have blockers, this is the best route to use right now. If you guys want to see a video having me go into more detail on how to do the aggressive catch glitch, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. On the next play, I want to spread it around a little bit, so I drag the tight end for the user to chase and hit the corner route, which also beats any man or zone. So you can see we really have two routes on this play that can beat just about any defense and I will add more with adjustments as the video goes on. He gets me to third and nine and goes back to the zone blitz so I plan to go short side with the Y route once again. You can easily pass to this route and the corner route the entire game as both have to be used to be stopped. Putting your opponent in a no win situation since neither route can be covered by the computer. He audibles to a cover two man and shows his hand by dropping the safety to use of the corner route once again. But once this route breaks inside from the man coverage cornerback, he always gets open. All we have to do is bullet and pass lead away and boom, we're right back into the red zone. Close to the end zone like this, the deeper routes are less effective. So I slant the running back, which is an adjustment that I haven't used yet. And this route can also beat any man or zone as we punch it in to take the lead. I mean, how do you cover all these routes? We missed the extra point though. And am I the only one that when this happens feels like it's a huge shift in momentum? Back on defense, we man blitz his brains in once again. 
He runs a hurry up to keep me in it like it went so well the first time. We get the same pressure, he throws it up, and we're coming away with our gotcha, second bitch. interception from this defense. Hmm, so many plays to choose from. What should we try next? Oh, the Saints Fort. We haven't tried that yet, right? On the next play, you can see he's getting very experimental trying to figure out a defense for this play, but the cornerback's pretty much exposed here down the box like this. So I planned on throwing to this outside receiver, but based on the fact that he moved his user safety out there to take that away, I basically just streaked the tight end instead, hit a quick throw inside away from the user and almost take it to the house. His user was pretty high level all over the place and using the right position. Position, but as long as I know where he is pre-snap, all these routes get open so I can really stay away from him and he'll never affect the play. He starts running a cover four, which at this point kind of looks like a prevent defense. If he's going to do this though, the flat route to the tight end will beat this up all game. He goes back to that man zero blitz and since I'm trying to kill clock before scoring, I make a zig route adjustment to my slot receiver, but he is all over that. I try to switch it up last second and try to use the aggressive catch glitch again, but this is a very timing specific throw as you have to throw it exactly when the DB flips his hips. So I throw way too late because it was my first read and I turned the ball over in the end zone. On the defensive side, he starts figuring out my man defense as he flips the field on me on one play. On the next play, he simply makes a corner route adjustment and torches my safety and man coverage and takes the lead. Damn it! Back on offense, I start most plays by staring at the tight end route because it gets open immediately for easy yards. On this play, I read man zero again, but he doesn't use the tight end immediately and we get an easy catch and run because once again, his user is just behind. He decides to throw a cover three at this defense and despite throwing the ball a little bit earlier, the Y route is wide open once again up the cover three seam. He goes back to man zero and this time I timed the route much better since it was my first read instead of my second read and we get an easy completion. He switches to cover two and the corner route gets open once again and inside the red zone, he covers the corner route so I go right back to the slant. He stays in man zero coverage again and I go right back to the running back as he absolutely bodies the cornerback and powers in for the score. I decide to go for two to make up the missed extra point and this is the only time the entire game I call a different play. This is typically my red zone offense and I wanted to guarantee I get the two. I'll have a link in the description for this video that I made about this offense as well. Back on defense, I come out and was essentially a prevent defense because he only has 12 seconds left on the clock but somehow he gets over the top with that glitchy verticals play once again. What? the hell is going on? Calling a timeout and getting a field goal before half. That's terrible. I knew coming in that I was going to run one unstoppable play all game, but I didn't know he was going to do the exact same thing. And now he is shredding every defense I choose with that vertical play and Tom Brady's hot route master. I feel like I'm in a mirror match as we're going blow for blow back and forth as he punches it in to take the lead once again. Damn it! Back on offense, it does take long for me to answer as he comes out and cover two man, decides to drop his cover two safety down. Psych! And we're off to the races for another explosive one play touchdown. We're going to need our offense to keep playing like this because on defense, we are dealing with a lit up Tom Brady. And honestly, I have no answer for this verticals play that he's using. I make a few plays here and there, but neither of us really has any idea how to stop the other players offense. So at this point, it feels like the game's going to come down to whoever has the ball last. This today is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. On the next play, my tight end gets stuck coming off the line and he goes to use the Y route, which leaves no routes open. But the pass rush opens up like the Red Sea Run. as we take off with Hurts sliding in for the first down. On the next play, I throw the ball a little early, but we get another huge play to the Y route over the middle against man cover two to end the third quarter down three. On second and 10, I take a deep shot and try to swerve catch it with my six foot six tight end. And I still don't know how he dropped it. But I saw the corner route was wide open on the last play, so I go right back to it and we squeeze it in for the first down catch. He tries to throw a random cover three cloud at me to see if it stops it, but I said that this route beats any man or zone, and that's exactly what it does as we get into the red zone. On the next play, we read man, so I drag the tight end and zig the slot receiver, playing the throw to whoever doesn't get usered, and boom, we take the lead back as he leaves the drag across the center of the field. And we take the lead with three minutes left in the fourth. Clock management is critical now as only touchdowns help him. So if he runs the clock out and scores with no time left, I am screwed. Luckily for me though, he scores on the very next play. It's all part of my plan. Bro, what are you talking about, man? So with three minutes left, my goal is to kill all the clock and give him the ball back with no time. This drive starts off great as I want a little bit more space so I can have more time to drive down the field. Is anybody buying this, by the way? Truthfully, my nerves are shattered as on the next play, I throw the ball late, but I'm still able to moss it for the first, but that could have easily been intercepted. I start to slow it down with some safe throws underneath just to keep the clock running. It's like I said, I want to give him the ball back with no time. On second down, I throw it to the corner out once again. He clicks on, but I high point it right in front of him. 
As good as this play is and how open his receivers are getting, I'm making it happen with crazy user catches all over the place. The next play I see zone, I squeeze it into a tight window, safe catching it in front of the safety as he starts calling his timeouts. He knows he can't stop this play. He has proved it all day long, and to be honest with you, I'm not even sure if you can stop it, so I really don't blame him. Look at some of these eye-popping stats. 10 catches for 280 yards and two touchdowns for Devontae Smith, who has been running that Y route role pretty much the entire game. Jalen Hurts completing 28 of 34 for almost 500 yards and five touchdowns. Would have been six if it wasn't for that lone interception I threw in the end zone. For whatever reason, he doesn't call a timeout this time as I guess he just wants to let the game play out. And I come to the line and I see exactly where I'm going with the ball as there's nobody in front of this Y route once again. So I let the clock tick down as far as I comfortably can before throwing Hurts' sixth touchdown of the game. And that's game over, right? Or not, as I missed the extra point again. Bruh. And now all he needs is a field goal to tie the game. I just left the door wide open for him with 15 seconds left. On the next play, though, I slammed that motherfucking door shut. <laughs> And even though the game is over, we want this touchdown return. I'm still kind of mad about that fumble recovery touchdown in the first play as I feel I should be up by two touchdowns and this game shouldn't even be close. At the end of the day, that's exactly how we ended though as we return it all the way for the touchdown and he rage quits with no time left. Chill, I bet you here. With any luck, I completely ruined that man's day, which is really the only reason I do this. So that's, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, be sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have the first video that I put out from this offense, including some additional plays popping up on the screen right now so if you guys want to check that out just click the video on the screen other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below